This presentation may contain language and scenes which may be objectionable to certain individuals. Viewer discretion is advised. Introducing Fighting out of the Macho Dojo, Macho Mike! Underdogs, are you ready? Tonight's the night. Tonight's the night of the big fight. The UFC 300 is tonight. So let's pregame with a macho movie, shall we? About underground fighting featuring some real MMA fighters. Are you ready? It's time to knuckle up. Blood and bone. You got the Dakota Five. You just signed your own death certificate, player. Five. After five years inside, Isaiah Bone is ready to start a new life. I have rules. No gangsters, no guns. This may not be the type of place that you're looking for. This seems like just the kind of place I'm looking for. So what's your name? Call me Bone. But a vicious crime lord. See all that? All that is mine. Is bringing terror to the streets. Come on, let's go. And he is the only one who can step up. You ain't met my new father yet, huh? To bring him down. Yo, one more matchup tonight. There's a new kid in town. I call him Bone because that's what he be breaking when he hits. I'm not sure I approve of the company you keep, Mr. Bone. Me neither. I have a fighter. So we're looking to sit at the grown-ups table, are we? Five million dollars. The fight is on. Never said I would fight. You are in that fight, or somebody's gonna be dead. I am the punishment of God. If you had not committed great sins, God would not have sent a punishment like me upon you. People to say no to me. Maybe you should get used to it. Man, you talk about underrated. This movie doesn't nearly get as much attention as it should. Michael Jai White is as macho as ever, coming right out of prison and into the world of underground fighting to avenge his dead friend. He's perfectly cast here as Isaiah Bone. You know, come to think of it, all the casting is good. And as I mentioned before, Blood and Bone has quite the lineup of martial artists. Kimbo Slice, Ernest the Cat Miller, Bob Sapp, Maurice Smith, and when Matt Mullins is on screen, the movie basically becomes a Mortal Kombat matchup between Johnny Cage and Jax Briggs. I've always admired fighters and the fight game. With this lineup, you know the fight scenes are going to be on point. And Michael Jai White also co-produced. So you know Blood and Bone is going to try and hit every mark on the Macho Meter. So let's see how many hits landed. We have Defying the Odds, Turning the Tables on Your Enemies, Gratuitous Chess Playing, A Cane Sword, and a Kick-Ass Soundtrack. There's also Shank to the Shoulder, a One Punch Knockout, Elbow to the Face, Head Slammed into the Wall, Wheeling and Dealing, 
ground and pound, machine gunning, bathroom brawling, pit fighting, pro wrestling, capoeira, kata, ninjutsu, jujutsu, kenjutsu, gunjutsu, and shirtjutsu. Body count is nine, including one woman. I had an accident. What'd you do, trip and fall on someone's fist? Now we've hit that part of the video where I do my shameless plugs. MachoMike.tv is my website, and that's where you can go to see more videos like this. You can go there to MachoMike.tv to buy some macho merchandise that I designed myself, and you will also find links to my social media, like YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, X, and now even Twitch. Yeah, I'm live on Twitch every so often with the Macho Stream. Check all that out for yourself now at http machomike.tv. He wants us to follow him. And I think I know where. It's over! Blood and Bone is the winner by unanimous decision. It's more macho than Lionheart. It's more macho than Best of the Best 2. Could it even be more macho than the UFC 300? I'll let you decide that one. Thanks for watching, underdogs. You've been great. I've been Macho Mike, and until I catch you later at MachoMike.tv, keep it macho.